Hi, my name is Dave Wheaton and I'm here to introduce you to the C-155 kit from UEI. This kit is undoubtedly one of the most complete kits on the market. It includes the analyzer and the probe, a wireless thermal printer with an extra roll of paper, accessory tubing for draft gas pressures or two customizable user probes, two K-type bead probes, an extra particle filter, an AC adapter, all in a blow molded carrying case. The C-155 is really a complete system analyzer. It will perform flue gas analysis measuring CO, CO2, gas pressure if you need, flue temperature, calculating things such as excess air, O2, losses, and combustion efficiency. It has a high resolution manometer that can be used for static pressures, draft pressures, pressure drops, and pressure differentials. You can also use the high resolution differential thermometer for return and supply temperatures, such as temperature rise or temperature drop. In safety tests for combustion appliance zones, you can simulate worst case and utilize the CO logger to find out if a dwelling has backdrafting with the CO logger mode. And you can check heat exchangers with the programmed heat exchange integrity test. Not only is the C-155 the most complete analyzer on the market, but it's also convenient and easy to use. Powered by either AA alkaline batteries, rechargeable nickel metal hydride, or the wall adapter, and simplified user interface with a rotary dial that people are familiar with from years of testing with other instruments. I'm going to take you through a basic combustion analysis and then also demonstrate some of the advanced features. So do a basic combustion analysis on this older 80% furnace. It's as simple as powering the unit on in fresh air. You can do this without any probes connected to it and let it go through its countdown. While it's doing that, we'll go ahead and hook up our gas tap. So I'll remove the fitting over the manifold pressure tap. Thread the adapter in. You start with connecting your gas pressure to P1. Then you want to use your flue probe with the depth stop cone. You drill an access port, thread the depth stop cone in, and then you want to position this approximately in the middle of the chimney and secure it. The flue probe connections are also on the bottom of the analyzer, connecting the tube to the bottom of the water trap. Verify the water trap plug is in place, and then the flue temperature to T1, observing the polarity, and you're ready to go. Mount that on the side and simply call for heat. So what we have on the screen is O2, CO, gas pressure, and flue temperature. And you'll see the unit just fired up. And you'll start to see the CO start to rise. And the O2 should start to drop. It's 18 and we got 140. Now the screen has eight parameters total. One on the first page. Press and hold the F. So it says flue page two and now you'll see CO2. It can be upgraded graded to have NOx combustion efficiency, and excess air. So as that's running, I can reduce the gas pressure. I can allow it to stabilize, monitoring the CO, O2, like I said on the second page, my CO2. These records now can be stored just by simply pressing and holding SIN until it says log and note the log rate. That can be recorded and then printed at a later date, or I can simply print during a test using the wireless infrared printer, giving me a snapshot of the combustion parameters at this moment in time. So with all these features in one instrument, we decided it might be nice to have a shortcut. So if your need was simply to do differential temperature or differential pressure, We've got a mode called manometer mode or mano mode. 
you can access that by holding down the send key while you turn it on. It'll come up, say mano mode, and release that. You now have a five second countdown. You don't have to have the pump going. You don't have all the interface for the various tests. And it gives you a screen that's simply differential pressure, T1, T2, and differential temperature. Doesn't matter where the selector's at, you use it now as a differential thermometer or a differential manometer. Doesn't wear the batteries down, it doesn't lead to confusion. At the end of that, simply turn it off and you're ready to put it away. That's the C155 kit from UEI. Thanks for watching.